The EU patent is certainly, well, it's, uh, it's a good outcome, but it will have, uh, I think, very little impact on innovation and on the economy in Europe, uh, actually for uh, various reasons. Uh, the first one is that we add a third layer on the existing two layers. So you have national patent systems, you have the current European patent whereby you choose the countries in which uh, you want to be protected. And then uh, you have the new unitary patent or EU patent for the whole uh, EU 25 zone because Spain and Italy have not signed for it. And uh, the, the very simple fact of having the three layers will mean that we will not solve the complexity issues that were raised by the former system. We make it even more complex than before. So I don't think uh, that it will attract uh, SMEs and universities to find more innovation. The second point um, is that uh, it's not yet official, but apparently the renewal fees, the fees that will have to be paid to keep this patent in force uh, for the whole European market, will be about 60% of the current uh, accumulated fees that have to be paid uh, when you get protected in the 25 countries. And this is a huge expense. I mean, uh, it's about for 10 years of protection is between 50 and 65,000 euro, uh, which is uh, much, much higher than anywhere else in the world where you pay less than 5,000 euro for a 10 years protection. So it's a nice first stage. It will be good for the newspapers, but impact on innovation, I don't believe in it. And you're saying that it's been a very complex issue to discuss. Is that why it took so long? Uh, yes, it's a complex issue. It's a political issue. But uh, as well, uh, it's a matter for which all the stakeholders have stakes. Uh, they have, uh, um, um, I would say, good motivations uh, not uh, to go too fast towards a centralized unitary system. Uh, the large companies know how to game the current system. They know how to file uh, parallel applications, parallel to DPO and so on. Uh, lawyers and attorneys have no reason at all to go towards that system because at the moment they provide advices and litigation services uh, parallelly in different countries, which is, of course, good financially for them, but uh, is uh, not at all... Uh, uh, a good issue or uh, it has no good uh, impact on the European economy and uh, finally the national patent offices who sit on the board of the EPO who prepare the documents that are negotiated by the, at the ministerial level uh, have no interest at all in that system because they fear to lose and they logically so they fear to lose resources and hence some of their administrative staff so uh, actually only universities and small and medium enterprises are really interested by that system and uh, unfortunately they don't have the, the lobbying uh, power that they should have in order to make it faster and more appropriate. Uh, I insist on the system which is envisaged now is not coherent and this complexity, this lack of coherence, uh, will undermine the system as it has for the past 50 years. And how urgent is, that, is it for us to have this? To what extent does it matter really for the European economy? Well, if we are really serious about creating a European economy, helping uh, small companies, uh, helping universities to create start-up, uh, we need to, have to make sure that there is no barrier for these SMEs to grow. And the patent system is a first barrier. It witnesses the lack of a single market in Europe. We don't have a single market, and it's uh, illustrated or witnessed by this, uh, this lack of uh, coherent or single market at the patent level. So I really think it's important for growth. Of course, it's not the only issue. It's not because you have a sound patent system that you have growth, but it's one aspect of the system. And if this aspect of the system does not work, it will not contribute to the system. And we have to make sure that the weakest link is uh, solved and erased. And this goes by creating uh, just one system, not three layers, one patent system, a unitary system, and uh, having the national patent offices stop granting patent independently from the European patent office.